Welcome to Haley's Wig Closet. Today I am going to be showing the Baltrus City Collection colors. Keep in mind I am missing a few colors. I do not have oyster gray and I do not have cake batter blonde or buttercream blonde which are the two unrooted blondes that are now retired colors. I do have beige Lennon Blonde R, and that is also now a retired color. Valtrus is taking those three retired colors and they are replacing them with some absolutely beautiful colors. I will throw the new colors up here on the screen so that you can see them. And let's get into this. So this is not a review. Again, I am just here today on this video to show you the Beltrus City Collection colors that I have. Starting off with Crushed Almond Blonde R. This is in the style Laguna Beach and Crushed Almond Blonde to me is the blondest of the blondes and it also has the lightest root of the blondes. The color code for Crushed Almond Blonde is going to be 1417 101 plus 18. The plus 18 is going to be the root. As you can see, it is a very light root. It does seem to go throughout the color. It is a dimensional color. It is beautiful. I absolutely love this color. This is my first time seeing this color. I did borrow a few colors from one of my friends so that I could make content and do some educational videos with them. So thank you so much, girl. Okay, back to Crushed Almond Blonde. Let's take a look at the hairline again. This new city collection, the coverage is just fantastic. But look at this hairline. They did incredible. This is so good. See it for yourself. I am in love. I think this is just such a stunning color. Okay, let me read you the description for Crushed Almond Blonde. It says, creamy cooler blend of light to medium sandy blonde with chunky highlights of light ash blonde and platinum creating a soft neutral light blonde with light and medium blended root color. So if you like Trezzle Lore's 613-1001 R18, I think you would absolutely love this color. This reminds me a lot of that color, but it doesn't have the 613, so it's not as platinum -y blonde but they are very similar and I don't want to take this one off you guys. This is just stunning. It is so pretty. I absolutely love it. I did a reel with this and I had a few people asking me if this was a new color. It really has not gotten the attention that it should be getting. It is stunning. Okay, let's move on to the next blonde. Also, I did want to say I will have this video time stamped. So if there is a certain color that you want to see, you can skip right to it. They will all be labeled so you can go right to the exact color that you want to see. So next I have Milkshake Blonde R and the color code for Milkshake Blonde R is going to be 12-19-23 plus 8. Again, this is another fabulous blonde color. I would say that this is kind of a neutral blonde and or maybe yeah I would say neutral because it does have that platinum blonde in it but then it also does have a bit of a warm tone. I will read you off the description for Milkshake Blonde R. It says a mixture of light and sandy brown Highlighted with light ash blonde with a hint of light platinum blonde with a medium root color. 
So it does have some sandy blonde and some light ash blonde. Again, it has an incredible lace front. The hairline, they just are so good. You hear people wanting to learn how to pluck hairlines. These look like they already come. Like the hair absolutely looks like it is growing out of my head. It is just fantastic. Milkshake Blonde is one of my favorite blondes. It is beautiful. I honestly, I love all of these new colors. Next, I have Raw Sugar Blonde R in this adorable style Catania. And the color code for Raw Sugar Blonde R is going to be 1214888 plus 8. This is a very beautiful, natural looking blonde. Again, another incredible hairline. Beautiful lace front. It looks so natural. I love the rooting that they've done on all of these. The color description for Raw Sugar Blonde R is going to be a mixture of neutral light blonde, honey blonde, pale gold blonde with the base of light brown glow lights featuring a medium root color. So there is quite a bit, bit different um, blondes in this and they just go so well together. It is truly a stunning color. It looks very natural to me. And this little Catania, she is just adorable. Next up, we have Beige Lennon Blonde R. Again, another beautiful rooted blonde. Unfortunately, they have retired this color right here. Beige Lennon Blonde R. The color code is going to be 16 22 613 plus 8. And the description is neutral beige color blonde mixed with medium and dark blonde highlighted using ash blonde with a medium brown root. And I am wearing this color in Laguna Beach. And you will see that I have quite a few Laguna Beaches here tonight. Absolutely stunning. I love this blonde. I really don't get why they retired it so soon. But with Beltras, if they don't sell enough of one color fast enough, they retire it and they move on. So that's what they did with this one. I'm glad I at least have one of these colors because this really is a beautiful blonde. I really like it. I did want to say while I have on Beige Linen Blonde, the other color Cake Batter Blonde is actually the unrooted version of Beige Linen Blonde, which is now, yes, another retired color. So if you could imagine this without the root, all just this color blonde, that is the other color that they have also decided to retire. And one of the last ones for now of the blondes is Caramel Blonde R, and this is in the style Napole, and it is such a beautiful color. This looks so natural. I really love Caramel Blonde. Okay, let me read you the color code. Caramel Blonde is going to be 3027613 plus 10. So this one has that plus 10 root on it, just like the first one, Crushed Almond Blonde. It is going to have a lighter root. It is just such a beautiful dimensional blonde color. It almost reminds me of like a light brown with highlights and lowlights. Um, it does have quite a bit of dimension and color. It is just absolutely stunning. The description for Caramel Blonde is light brown rooted blend of gold blonde and a hint of strawberry blonde and light auburn with the balance of cool light blonde highlights. Just such a beautiful color that they made.
Okay, next color is a beautiful red, and this one is called Sienna Spice. The color code is 30 plus orange. I was so intimidated by that color code, but I assure you, if you like reds, this is an absolutely beautiful red color. I really love it personally. I obviously wish that they would have rooted this color, but even without the root, I absolutely will still wear it. I think it is just such a beautiful dimensional red color. So the color description is going to be unrooted, true light strawberry blonde red with low light and highlights for variegated dimension, which it does have lots of dimension. You can kind of see two different colors of reds and then also that strawberry blonde. It is such a beautiful red color. I really love this color. And I'm wearing it in the style Sienna. So Sienna Spice in Sienna. Very pretty. And let's look at this lace front real quick before I forget. So for this being red, it is rather light. There is no knots. Very natural looking. They just did such a great job with all of these colors. Next color is Coolest Ash Brown. This is a beautiful, cool brunette. The color code is going to be 814. It does have very cool toned highlights. Her description states, unrooted combination of light ash brown and cool medium brown with a hint of dark blonde subtle highlights. They absolutely are very subtle, so if you don't like very stark highlights, I think you would absolutely love this color. I'm trying to move a little bit so you can kind of see the different tones. This is such a unique and very beautiful color. Here is the lace front. Again, it is just so natural and beautiful. These are some of my favorite wigs of all times. I am obsessed with all of these new colors. This, the, all of these collections that they are launching have been stunning, low density, low permities, if any, and the colors are just beautiful. Next, I have Mocha Maple Brown. The color code is going to be 627. And this is a beautiful brownish, auburnish. The description is unrooted, but very dynamic mix of dark brown, medium brown, light brown, auburn, and medium strawberry mix. It is just such a pretty brown color. And here is the lace front. Very natural. This again is a pretty color. It's very unique. They just did so good. And this one is the style Newport. So this is one that I borrowed. It is a, such a beautiful brown color. I absolutely need one. And we have dark brown plus HL. The plus HL is for highlights. This is a very dimensional color. Honestly, if I could only pick one out of all three browns, it would be this one. One, because I don't have it. And two, because I love blondes and this is just such a dimensional color. I think it is just stunning. So the color code is going to be 627-2014. So what I found that very interesting is that the color code is not much different from Mocha Maple Brown. So here is Mocha Maple Brown, and this one is obviously dark brown plus HL. 
The color code again for Mocha Maple is 627. The color code for dark brown is also 627, but then at the end we have 2014, the 2014. So they are similar. I would say if you wanted one and you and they only had the other in the style you wanted, really these, I mean, they do not look exactly the same but they do have some of the same colors in them and they are both stunning. So I just wanted to point that out. Now the description for dark brown plus HL or plus highlight is going to be unrooted, but very nice dynamic colors of dark brown and strawberry, light auburn and chunky medium and dark blonde highlights which i would not call these chunky medium blonde highlights they look very thin to me as if you put a cap on and pulled them through a cap versus if you were taking some thick chunky highlights like on the first style and was doing actual foils with them so they are very small blonde highlights but when that light hits it just right, you really can see all that dimension. This is a stunning color. And yes, it is darker, but again, Ball Trust did amazing on this lace front. It just looks so natural. It's beautiful. I really love all of the different dimension in this color. And that is why I said I really love all of these new colors. I think they are absolutely stunning. And they are going to be dropping three new colors to replace the three that are now retired. I'm so excited to see these new colors. I am sure they are all going to be fantastic. Also, I wanted to mention I am wearing this dark brown plus HL or plus highlights in the style Laguna Beach. I hope you all enjoyed this. I really hope that it helps you out some. And I would like to say thank you to my beautiful, amazing friend who loaned me a couple of her wigs so that I could use them to make this video. I hope you are all having a beautiful day and I hope to see you soon.